amigas. Hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here on this channel. We try to cover all things reality, TV news, and gossip. We cover the lives of the celebrities that are on our favorite reality TV shows. We do recaps for the for the reality TV shows. If a reality TV star that we cover, if they get arrested, we talk about it. If they're in the middle of a nasty custody battle, we cover it. So if that's the type of content you like, make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button. Most of my videos are live streams. So if you can catch us live, it's fun to be in the live with us and just kind of hang out and talk about the topic. If not, and you watch on replay, just as fun, but sometimes you will not get to see the live chat. Um, also, I'm going to be saying this in a couple of streams because I've been getting a lot of comments lately. For one, my countdown is a free countdown that comes with the um, streaming software that I use. I said this last time, but I've gotten several comments saying, accusing me of stealing the countdown from another creator. It's just a countdown that we all get, um, that we all can use. I've had several intros since I've been on YouTube. And um, my most recent one, unfortunately, is not long enough. So I had to use something a little bit longer. It's longer, so I used it. I'm not stealing anybody's intro, I promise. Um, look at me, I'm on time. Reaper, uh, I don't think I was on time though. <laughs> I think I was a little bit late. L, I'm gonna be a grandparent. That's awesome. They say grandparents is like to have a grandchild is like another level. And y'all, listen, I'm young and my daughter's only 19, but I can't wait for the day. Like I really can't. I don't want her to get pregnant, you know, because she's gotta do her stuff, you know, she's gotta she's gotta do her school and stuff. But let me tell you, I can't wait to be a a grandmother. Um, anyways, we're going to be talking about Ryan Edwards, Macy Bookout, Bentley. We're going to be talking about team mom people in this video because Ryan Edwards had a rough year last year. I'm talking about rough. He got arrested like four times in a month and a half, two months, maybe, maybe it was like two months that he got arrested, like literally four times. Um, uh, the, the body cam, the police body cam footage was released of him getting arrested. He trashed his house. I'm talking about he trashed that house on another level. I mean, at the beginning of 2023, him and McKenzie were married, but they weren't doing well. I mean, their relationship 2023 from January 1st was not well. I think he was, and this is, uh, I think he was not sober and he was doing things that made him paranoid so he believed that Mackenzie was stepping out on him and he was publicly shaming her I mean he posted photos of her that just like half naked photos I think they were like boudoir photos that that's what it liked to me but he claimed there were photos that she had taken for her boyfriend he trashed the house he got arrested she put a restraining order on him literally the day after she put the restraining order on him he violated it and was arrested again he was ordered to rehab. He goes to rehab. He leaves rehab early. And about a week or so after he left the rehab, he crashes his truck. He is behind the wheel doing D-R-U-G-S um, ODs while behind the wheel. His truck hits a curb and a pole. Um, uh, emergency medical professionals were dispatched to the scene. And they literally had to like break in the truck because the doors was locked. The truck was still running. They had to administer two. I don't know. Uh, they had to administer Narcan to him, but it wasn't one dose. It was two doses of Narcan. They had to administer to Ryan at the scene. He was sentenced to rehab again. And he was basically told like, if you leave this time, like you're going to go to jail. So he went to rehab. He ended up living in like a halfway home after that at the halfway house. He meets Amanda Connor. She was also previously in rehab. She's been arrested several times. Him and McKenzie, they split. Now, McKenzie, she got that restraining order. He violated it. He got arrested. But about three weeks after the she got it, she dropped it. She showed up in court. His attorney said that they had talked to McKenzie and that she wanted to drop the restraining order so he could talk to the kids. So he could call her house and talk to the kids. Um, Mackenzie also showed up at the halfway house on at least one occasion to talk to Ryan. Now, in the team mom reunion at the end of the season, 
Jen and Larry called Mackenzie out saying like, oh, she could have got Ryan in trouble. She wasn't allowed to be there. We don't know why she went there. She could have got him in trouble. But I have been informed that she was asked by Ryan to come there. Like she didn't really know exactly where to go or how to go about seeing Ryan. Ryan told her to come. So she went and then he could have gotten in trouble because he was breaking the rules because Ryan breaks the, breaks the rules. And then Jenna Larry acted like she was the one that did something wrong. Either way, it seemed like for a second that Mackenzie and Ryan would potentially make amends and possibly work on their marriage, but that did not happen. He met Amanda Connor. And uh, since then, a lot of people have been like, yeah, we don't like this relationship. She is a, you know, she is a recovering addict, new in her recovery. She has a history that doesn't look good. Um, same as him. So they're both newly sober and then they got back together. So a lot of people did not support this relationship. Mackenzie and Amanda, they have been just, you know, for months on the internet. They go back and forth. Um, it recently came out that Ryan Edwards was sexting other girls, but Amanda's like, I don't care. I'm secure in our relationship. Whatever. Listen, you guys, it came out that Ryan was sexting like other women and then Easter came. And Amanda's there with Ryan and Easter. And guess where they're at? They are at Macy and are there. I don't know if this is Macy and Taylor's house. I don't think it's their house, but it's their Easter. So Macy and Taylor invited Ryan and Amanda to their Easter festivities. Why wasn't Amanda with her own child for Easter? That's a good question. I know that Amanda has a little boy that she does not have custody of. Her dad had custody of the little boy until her dad passed away. And then her stepmom, the, 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 Amanda's son lives with Amanda's stepmother who raised the little boy from jump along with Amanda's dad. But now that he passed away, stepmom has the little boy but yeah like that is a good point like you know um so ryan posted this photo to his instagram account right here yeah y'all listen hate me if you want to but Ryan was a very nice looking guy in the beginning. And when he's like taking care of himself and not under the influence, I think he can be a nice looking guy. I'm not going to lie. I think he's a nice looking guy. I mean, when he's not well, then he's just, he don't care about his looks and he lets his hair grow out. And, you know, there's still shot pictures of him looking like, you know, and then it's like crazy looking. But I think on a normal, like when he is okay, well dressed. He has so much potential. So much potential. Anyways, so um, you think he had CH trauma as a child? Ryan, you know, I see a lot of people questioning whether or not I, I see a lot of people questioning whether or not Ryan has some sort of childhood trauma. So I'm not sure. And Alex, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Ryan, why did TLC cancel that? No way it's real. I'm not sure what you're I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, Team Mom is on MTV, so I'm not sure. Okay, so he posted this. And Macy said, Benny has a lot of bad people in his corner. That's for sure. Thankful for all of us to be able to spend Easter together. Mimi Jen, she put a heart. A lot of people complimented Ryan on how healthy he looked. A lot of people complimented Macy for allowing this. Um, maybe so. I feel like, I feel like, God, that's been so long ago, but there was something that led to Ryan taking pain meds for something and he ended up getting addicted to the pain meds. So I do know that it started there years and years and years ago. Um, Ryan looks so healthy. This makes my heart full. You look so healthy and happy. You look so good, Ryan, one day at a time. Hashtag we do recover. Yes, yes. 
listen, I got a little bit of backlash for my last video because I was like, if I was Mackenzie, like I'd be looking up who this girl was too before I let my kids go around her. I got a lot, a little bit, a little bit of backlash for that. Um, but listen, I believe that anybody that's an addict can recover and addicts are not bad people at all. I feel like Ryan is just not, he just makes a lot of dumb mistakes. And I feel like looking at Amanda's history as well, she has as well. Like they've both done so much and they have been in this cycle for a long, 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 long time. So for that reason, I would not want my kids just around anybody that has been dealing with that struggle. Just because when you're going through that, you're not always your best self. You know what I'm saying? And children should not be subjected to that. Like, yes, I'm a recovery addict seven years. I mean, some people that I love the most are recovering addicts and some, unfortunately, are still in that battle. I mean, I have, I mean, some very close family members, family, family members that are still in that battle. So it doesn't make them bad people. But when you're going through that, there's just things that children should not be subjected to, you know? Yeah, it's good to look into who your kids are going to be around. People And people can change, exactly. And if Amanda and Ryan are sober, which I hope they are, that's awesome. I will tell you that I heard recently that they're not. I had a source tell me that that's not the case. But I don't know that for sure. That's just what I was informed, that they're not sober. I'm hoping they are, because let me tell you something. If they're not, if they've relapsed, it will eventually catch up to them. It may take us some time, but it will eventually catch up and the whole world will know, you know, so I hope that's not the case. Um, but either way, how could it be? Co-parenting may not be an easy journey, but it's so worth it. And not just for Benny, but all of you. But let me tell you something. Benny looks happy in the photo. I feel like Benny loves having both parents there. Um, but people did question Macy as to why she allowed Ryan and Amanda to be there. So Macy recently spoke to, I think it was Us Weekly. She did an interview with Us Weekly on Monday. So let me make that picture big again. Um, and she discussed allowing Amanda and Ryan to their Easter festivities. She said, Ryan is doing really well. I believe in a week, he'll be a year sober, which I've never seen since his act of addiction really began. But he's doing it really well and doing the work. I feel like him and Bentley are in a really good place. All I say is, all I say is hope and expectations are two different things. I'm still very, 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 very hopeful every day. But I will also say that over the last year, I think expectations have changed a little bit too. He's doing really well. It was really nice being able to have for Bentley all of his family in one spot. It was cool. It was great. So, yeah. Um, a lot of her uh, co-stars, like Sean Austin, Jade's husband, he commented on it, said, love this for Bentley. Kayla Sessler, love this. I don't know if it has been a year, though. Has it been a year? Because it is April. I don't think it's been a year. But, I mean, hopefully. Hopefully he is over. But I really don't think it's been a year because. Maybe it is. I don't know. But that's a really good picture of them. I'm glad they're getting to be together. It would be nice if everybody could get along, like Mackenzie, Macy, Ryan, I guess since Amanda's going to be there, Amanda, that way all the kids could be there together. Bentley could have all his siblings there together, and it could be like a whole little shindig. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be great. I think Macy does a lot just to soothe Ryan and his parents. I think so as well. And two, Macy said um, when her and Bentley was in therapy a while back, Bentley made the comment that her relationship with Ryan affects his relationship with Ryan. Like, if she's not getting along with Ryan, then it affects him wanting to be around Ryan. I guess maybe it makes it awkward or he feels like maybe he can't be, he's not being loyal to his mom if he's trying to 
have a relationship with his dad when his mom and his dad's not getting along, whatever. So he told her, didn't Ryan OD? Yes, yes. When did Ryan OD? So she said whenever she found that out, when she found it out that her relationship affected Bentley, she said she really started trying to work harder on her relationship with Ryan. Um, Macy Bookout's ex has been through a string of arrests for harassment, controlled substance, and DUI overdosing in April 2023. So he overdosed in April 2023. So, uh, yeah. I mean, if he actually got clean and sober when that happened, then I guess maybe. I hope Ryan can stay clean for Bentley. Yeah. Can have him in his life. Every kid wants both parents in their life. Exactly. I lost respect for Macy. Maybe this is why Macy endures that Bentley has a relationship with his dad, but can monitor to say, I wonder if Mac wouldn't be as upset with Amanda. Wouldn't have been nasty in the beginning after Mac posted the big of her and they went. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I feel like Amanda is one of those that she went in with the issue with Mackenzie. And that's what I feel like. I don't know this. But I feel like Amanda went in. She's a rehab girlfriend. Mackenzie comes to rehab to see Ryan wearing her wedding ring, breaks up with the boyfriend. And Amanda and Ryan already started this like friendship. I think that made Amanda be like, mm, I don't like her because she's threatening what we kind of have. And I don't know this to be, I don't know this to be the case. What I can tell you is I have had a source tell me that they're not sober. But um, I don't know in what terms, like in what regards, like are, are they, is it the drug of choice that they normally use? Is it something else? I don't know. Also, there's filming going on, but I don't think everyone is filming. Um, I got to double check that. But I want to say I heard that Amanda was filming, but possibly not Ryan, which doesn't really make sense. Um, so if Amanda is filming, but Ryan is not filming, why? Why is that? Like, either way, people were trashing Macy for being supportive of Ryan, saying she still loves him. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I, I don't. Here's the thing, y'all. My story is so similar to Macy and Chelsea's, like identical almost. Um, and I would never, ever, ever want anything bad to happen to Paris and Kane's dad. Um, do I love him? I'm not in love with him at all. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. And my son, Caden, looks identical to his dad. I'm talking about identical. Um, I don't know. Like, you know, yeah, I guess I love him in the way of, like, that's my kid's dad. But, like, that's his life. Like, I don't care. He gets a new girlfriend every other week. I don't care. Doesn't I don't care. The only way that it affects me is if you bring her to my home around my kids, then I'm like, don't be doing that. Don't be bringing every Cindy, Cynthia, and Eloise to my home to meet my kids because they're not going to be here next week, you know? Um, yeah, I think maybe it's showing that she loves her child and not, yeah, she's, she's showing she loves her child more than she dislikes her ex. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Is it weird that Macy didn't back McKenzie but supported Ryan? Know how terrible he is. Yeah, it, you see, that's where it's kind of tricky, I feel like, because Macy had to get an RO on Ryan at one point because Ryan made threats to her and Taylor when they weren't getting along. So she knows what Ryan is capable of. She saw what he did to the house just like the rest of the world saw what he did to the house, right? So Macy has to... She she has to know what Ryan is capable of and what Mackenzie may endure from Ryan if Ryan just so decides to call her up and yell and scream at her or when they were still together, what she may have had to go through because he was under the influence or he was angry. So Macy knows this, right? But she may also feel like, well, 
when it comes down to it, Ryan is Bentley's dad, and I'll always have to deal with him. I don't always have to deal with Mackenzie. So while I, while I feel bad for Mackenzie, and that sucks, you know, that's Bentley's daddy, and I got to try to figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can tell you, uh, Paris and Kane's dad, he married, and me and the woman that he married got along great. She was great to my kids, and to this day, we still talk. I mean, there's been times where Paris and Kane's dad, I, I might go six months without hearing from him. But his ex-wife, we talk. Like, we stay in communication. She has a child by my ex. So, Paris and Kane, they have another brother up there. And, like, when we go to the city to take the kids to do things, we invite him. And she comes. So, my kids can see their other sibling. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I think, you know, Bentley has siblings through Ryan and Mackenzie. So if for some reason Ryan wasn't doing good and she needed to be civil with Mackenzie or get along with Mackenzie so Bentley could see those kids, um, I guess she could. But also Jen and Larry. Even if Ryan wasn't doing good, Jen and Larry's always going to get their grandkids. So Bentley could see his siblings through Jen and Larry. The letter Mac read to Macy will never forget. Oh my goodness. I will never forget. So cruel. So I see if she's not healed from how she treated Macy. I trust. That's so true. I remember when that happened at the reunion when Mackenzie was like, you've known for such and such hours. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, girl, you knew too. Like maybe you didn't know that. Maybe you didn't know exactly what drug he was doing, but you knew he was doing something because you literally turned the cameras off and said, did you take a Xanax? I think Mackenzie thought that Ryan was taking Xanax like during filming days because he was camera shy. Like maybe he didn't really like recording or filming. So when they would film, I think he told her, oh, I'm just taking a Xanax to like make it easy. So, I, you know, I can film. So it's not that blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think she knew the extent. I don't think that she knew that he was on the big H. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's possible she did, but I didn't think that she did. Um, I did see that. I did see that. Uh, Colby, I did see that. I contemplated doing a live stream about that today. Maybe I will tomorrow. Um, Mac was 19 when they started dating. Yes, yeah, she was young. And let me tell you guys something. My ex did all kind of stuff, and I was dumb. I had no idea. It was after we broke up that he confessed, like, that he did a lot of stuff when we lived together and i had no idea i was like wow really i never even could have imagined that i mean i thought he was like smoking weed <laughs> like i thought he was coming home sm like i was okay from like smoking marijuana but no <laughs> no but i was young and I, I didn't know you know yeah that was on another level uh, on another level he was falling asleep you know i mean whoa but anyways, I mean, I'm glad that Bentley is getting just, you know, to spend holidays with mom and dad. I hope that for his sake and Ryan's Ryan's sake, Ryan's kid's sake, that Ryan is sober. And um, one thing that we do know is that Ryan is sending sexy photos to other women. But Amanda, she doesn't care. They're solid. She's confident in their relationship. They're solid. So it doesn't bother her if he sends deck picks to other women and i said deck like a boat deck um anyways so whatever i guess maybe maybe they have an open relationship i don't know she claims she don't believe it she thinks Mackenzie is sending her minions to i don't i don't know even if Mackenzie sent her minions to talk to ryan he's still sending the pictures so he's still not being faithful but whatever maybe it's an open relationship maybe so i mean Maybe she's maybe she's kinky and freaky. I don't know, you know, possibly. Anyways, you guys. So I'm glad they had a good little Easter together. Uh, Macy, she defends um, her decision to invite them, saying, "You know what? He's doing good. He's been sober for a year." Bentley and his relationship, it is great right now. Amanda's pulling a Janelle and acting like he hasn't talked to other. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Yes, yes. I'm proud of those who are sober. 
Congrats, whether it's been one day or 10,000 days. Exactly, exactly, for sure, yeah. Macy is letting Bentley take the league in the relationship with his dad because he's older now and she doesn't feel like she has to protect him as much. I'm sure she's there if he needs her. And that's that's very possible. She may be, I do that with my kids. My kids got invited to go to their dad's side of the family for Easter. And I was like, what do y'all want to do? If y'all want to spend Easter with us, spend Easter with us. If y'all want to spend Easter with your dad's side of the family, go there. It's whatever you guys want to do. Um, now, they both have their own vehicles. My son, who was 16, he came with our family. And then my daughter, she went to her boyfriend's. So um, they didn't they didn't go. But uh, it's been up to them for a while. I've left that up to my kids for a while. But they don't go to their dad's house because he struggles. They go to their grandparents' house. And dad meets them there. Um, but it's left up to them. All, all the time it has been for the past few years um anyways you guys like share subscribe we're trying to get to 100k laura says i'm in the same situation yeah it's hard to navigate you know but at some point when your kids are older you can't especially when they understand the situation of what's going on you know i do hope they'll hold off on kids for a while if they're considering it me too they definitely don't need to be having kids right now thousand percent anyways you guys like share subscribe i'm trying to get to 100k so please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button also you guys y'all 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 okay so y'all know i'm going to georgia later this month for the mama june um court date i'm praying to god that i don't get up there and they um continue it or something you know because that is a 14 hour drive and we're driving, okay, because I'm scared of planes. Anyways, y'all, this is on the 16th. Tell me why the Chrisley's appeals court date is the 19th. In the same state, like two hours away. I'm like, I want to go to it. I want to go to it so bad. But there's just no way that I can stay gone for my family for that long. Because we got to leave the early morning hours of the 15th. So we're going to drive. All the way to Georgia, get there that evening, get up early the next day um, for court. And I don't know how long court will last, but um, then we got to head back after court, you know. And then I found out that Savannah Chrisley will be at court for her family for their appeals hearing. <gasps> and it's open, like it's open to the public. She's like, so she literally said on her stream earlier, I was watching, and she was like, so if anybody wants to come, come. I'm going to be there. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Mama June, what does she have court for? She has custody court. So it's um, technically Michael Cardwell, Mama June's daughter, Anna, the one that passed away. Her ex-husband is still with Mama June for custody of Caitlin. So, yeah. Oh. My house is broken. I'm like Easter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not closed to the public. It's not. I'll be able to go. I double checked with everybody that I need to double check with. So it will be, I will be able to go in. Um, you're going to have, a, yeah, I'm just, me and Sean's going. Um, so Paris will be here with all the kids and then grandma's right next door. So, but I wish. <gasps> ah. Anyone know why they don't take care of, anyone know why they didn't take care of who the daughter went to after her death? Oh, like why Anna didn't take care of that beforehand? Um, I think Anna was kind of in denial. So she never formally had anything legalized, but she verbalized it to several people. So, and I've spoken to people that she verbalized it with. Chrisley's over Mama June. Ah, Y'all, I told Shauna, I said, I'm going to have to send you back on a plane. You go back home and then I'll stay. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with this one, you guys. Anyways, like, share, subscribe. I will see y'all tomorrow and have it too fast for her. Yeah, she thought she had time. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Um, follow me on my other social media platforms. Sometimes YouTube does not send out the links. I mean, the notifications of when I go live, but I do usually post on my Facebook account. Uh, I have like a LB fan Facebook page where I post before I go live. I post the link. So if you see it pop up, you just click on the link. It'll take you right to the live. I have a Twitter page. I have an Instagram. I have a TikTok. I keep, I have to subscribe again every, See, Vision Blue, YouTube does that. Like, YouTube hates me. They hate me. They don't, like, they unsubscribe my people, and then they uh, don't send out notifications. It's three days now. You can do it. Ah! So, if it's, so, we would have to leave the early morning hours of the 15th. Then the 16th would be one court date, 17, 18, 19. That would be five days. And then the sixth day to drive back home. <laughs> I've never done that. Um, I've never been away that long. Um, anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe. I want to see what I can do. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.